The final game of the regular season is here as Seattle heads down to San Francisco to take on the 49ers at Levi Stadium, looking for their seventh straight win over San Francisco. It's a regular season game um, and, uh, you know, one that, uh, you know, we need to make sure that we finish this regular season on a positive note and uh, continue to work on consistency and doing things, um, doing things right. And, you know, kind of like we did basically in the second half, we, you know, we played a really good half of football. And, um, you know, so that's, that's our focus to continue to, to move in that direction. The Seahawks want to build off what they saw in the second half on offense last week in which Doug Baldwin finished with career highs in catches and yards while Russell Wilson threw four touchdowns and a regular season career high 350 yards. We just have to be consistent and that's across the board. We have to continue to uh, find ways. I think the great thing we're, that we're doing right now is we're doing a great job on third down. Um, we're staying on the field and we want uh, our, our guys to stay on the field because we got so many great players, you know, and, um, you know, across the board. So that's a positive thing for us. So uh, it's just a little bit more focus here and there, you know, and I think that's really, um, I think that's a really the only thing that, that, that we need to do. When it came down to it, we just calmed down and, and realized that, that we can't put pressure on ourselves and we just have to just play our game of football and just have fun. And uh, when we're having fun and, and playing our brand of football and communicating with each other and, and playing for each other, there's nobody who can stop us. Looking at the 49ers, the biggest change is that Colin Kaepernick is back at the starting quarterback role. Since Kaepernick took over in week six, he's thrown 15 touchdowns and four interceptions. The big change is a quarterback, you know, for sure. And uh, Colin has looked really, um, really effective. And, and he, he's back to playing comfortably, you know, and, and running and throwing and, and scrambling and doing all that stuff. Um, he's averaging over seven yards of carry. You know, he's got a pretty good uh, passer rating. Uh, touchdown to the interceptions is really good and all that stuff. So he, he's um, he's that threat again. Cap has always been a great, a, a really good quarterback. He's uh, he's very explosive. You see him running the ball. He's just he can do so many things. And I think the way he runs is very awkward, but he runs really fast. And a lot of guys can't catch him. I mean, he runs with no technique, but he's running so fast. And uh, he's done a great job of uh, the option, good and a good job getting the passing game going. I think he's been probably the best offensive player so far. San Francisco's rushing game ranks fourth in the NFL, but it'll be tested this weekend as the team's leading rusher, Carlos Hyde, was recently put on IR. Hyde rushed for over 100 yards and two TDs against the Seahawks back in week three. We have Sean Drone and Juan Harris, our two guys behind them, uh, that have been behind Carlos and have played this year for us. So uh, those two guys will get the bulk of the, bulk of the carries. You know they're gonna they're gonna have a, uh, an attack anyway. You know even if they don't have them, they're gonna use cap, use his legs. They're gonna uh, have misdirection plays. They're gonna you know do their they're gonna run their offense still. And we just got to be ready to adjust and uh, keep playing hard. The 49ers are coming off just their second win of the season following a 13 game losing streak. They sit at the bottom of four major statistical categories in the NFL, but it's always a battle when you face a divisional opponent. They're going to come uh, out with a lot of energy, um, you know, so it's a divisional game. Uh, they're like a rival opponent, so they're going to bring, you know, everything they got. You know, they're going to run hard, play hard, they're going to play together, and, you know, we just got to be prepared and ready to go. Their games have been close. Um, you, could, you could take a look back uh, when they played Dallas, when they played New England. You know, those, those games are competitive. It's a competitive football team that we're talking about. You know, they are professionals, and uh, like I said, their, their system is good. Uh, they got guys who understand what they're doing. Again, Kaepernick has been a fantastic quarterback, and as far as the zone read and things like that, uh, he fits. He fits the offense. So he's a, again, all the RPOs, the run pass options, and, and, and things of that nature. Again, it, they're all prevalent. We know we're going to have to deal with them. So we said we just have to make sure we are right. Well, the 49ers come into the game with momentum on their side and a streak on the line. San Francisco has won at home in the final game of the regular season nine straight years. Kickoff is set for 1.25 p.m. Pacific. You can watch it live on Fox or you can listen to it on the Seahawks radio network.